So now the whole world is looking into Britain, what's happening here, who is the next PM, whether they are going to stay for long term or they will also resign for short term and whether the economy will boost up again and the student community, those who are here and also who wanted to come from abroad, they are worried about PSW. So in this video, let's look into what's happening in UK in these days. Hi guys, how are you all? Hope you all are doing good. So as you have seen the title. There is lots of chaos happening in the UK. So as you all know, like previously, one and a half month back, the Queen Elizabeth, she died. Charles became the king. And uh, simultaneously, the Boris Johnson also resigned. And uh, as you all know, Truss become the Prime Minister. Now again, after 44 days, she resigned. And also apart from that, instability in economy and the currency pound sterling has dropped uh, its lowest value in SGST since 37 years it's been the lowest now and also two days back the home secretary has announced that uh, there are a lot of students coming to UK they want to reduce the student strength from 6 lakhs to 1 lakh blah 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 there are many things happening and she also resigned immediately after the next day and within two days uh, the prime minister also resigned so now I will show you the political statements they have made and then we will talk about an interesting topic that is PSW, the coming students 2023 batch like January intake, September intake, whether they will have the PSW option or not. So first we will watch this video and then we will talk about it. I am a fighter and not a quitter. I cannot deliver the mandate on which I was elected. I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. I've got the list here. 45p tax cut, gone. Corporation tax cut, gone. 20p tax cut, gone. And her supposed best friend, the former Chancellor, he's gone as well. They're all gone. So why is she still here? Mr Speaker, I am a fighter. <laughs> last couple of minutes, uh, I've been told that Suella Braverman has resigned as Home Secretary. She says, I have concerns about the direction of this government. Just the latest in a long series of problems for the Prime Minister, Grant Shapps, who she sacked when she came into office in Downing Street just over a month ago, is the new Home Secretary. It's all going on here this <laughs> afternoon. Labour have brought about a debate on fracking in which the government is whipping its MPs to vote against the Labour motion, effectively voting in favour of potentially allowing fracking. Now, it was made very, very clear by Tory whips earlier today that this was being treated as a confidence vote in the government. Oh, the nose have it. The nose have it. I would urge you to launch an investigation into the scenes outside the entrance to the no lobby earlier. I saw members being physically manhandled into another lobby and being bullied. I'm livid. I really shouldn't say this, but I hope all those people that put Liz Truss in number 10, I hope it was worth it, because the damage they have done to our party is extraordinary. We don't have a, com we don't have a government. You might as well have... I mean, the lettuce might as well be running the country. We've got to get rid of her, haven't we? I'm not sure it could get any worse. We can't keep up with it for one minute. I'll be surprised if they survive the day, to be quite honest. Now, Liz Truss is meeting the most senior Conservative backbencher, Sir Graham Brady, as I speak to you. He is the chair of the influential 1922 committee, the group of MPs who run leadership elections for the party. And after those crisis talks, I now understand there will be a statement at 1.30. This lunchtime looks like we may get a big development in the future of Liz Truss. Uh, it's really hard to keep track of time because so much has been happening in each kind of 24-hour segment. Here she comes, Liz Truss, her husband alongside her. Let's listen in. We set out a vision for a low-tax, high-growth economy that would take advantage of the freedoms of Brexit. I recognise, though, given the situation, I cannot deliver the mandate on which I was elected by the Conservative Party. I will remain as Prime Minister until a successor has been chosen. Thank you. The Conservative Party, you're put off from voting for them at the next general election, whenever that might be. I'm afraid so at the moment, yes. Bring back Boris. Is that what you'd like to see? Well, he did a good job on Brexit. I think somebody over there agrees with me. So, yes, bring back Boris. Well, personally, I'd bring back Boris. That's my answer. 
really. We hear that he may be throwing his hat into the ring. Why do you want to see Boris Johnson return? I think he was an excellent leader. Made mistake. Tied to it. He apologised eventually. But I think he's a good all-round leader. He got through COVID. He's got that presence that Liz hasn't got. But not everybody was looking ahead. The pace of events means some haven't even had a chance to catch up on today's news. She'll get over it. <laughs> She'll survive. You know she's been... You know she's resigned? No, I didn't know that. She resigned earlier this afternoon. Oh, it surprises me. So let us see uh, what the opposition leader is saying. Keir Starmer. To say, with everything going on, I'm a bit nervous to turn my phone off for half an hour, 45 minutes. We really don't know what will have happened by the time we turn it back on. Today I want to set out what's at stake for Britain. We face a battle for the soul of our country. Who we are. Who we're for. The Labour choice is a Britain that is fairer, greener and more dynamic. A Britain where we rebuild our public services to provide opportunity and security. Tackle the climate emergency head on. Use it to create jobs and industries of the future. Restore faith in politics as a force for good. Get Britain's hope, its confidence and its future back. Britain deserves better. Britain cannot afford the chaos of the Conservatives anymore. We need a general election now. So hope you watch this video till now. So the Conservative Party leader and the PM trust is resigned. And the opposition parties, the Labour Party leaders, they are grilling them. So normally we see these kind of things in developing countries. But even though UK is a developed country, still there are a lot of things happening here. So as you have seen, many Tory leaders and also the public, they want uh, Boris Johnson back. And I will also show the survey wherein uh, around 60% of them want Boris Johnson back. And even some people want Rishi Sunak as their PM. So this is what happening in UK. We don't know what will going to happen in future. Apart from this, uh, as I said, regarding the uh, post-study work permit, that is PSW. So as of now, there is no official update about the cutting of PSW or reducing the students or dependents. As you have seen, the Home Secretary stated these things about the PSW and cutting the students. She also resigned. So I think we should not worry about that. So those guys who are coming for the January 2023 intake to UK, don't be afraid, apply for the universities, crack your pre cash interview or credibility interview and get your cash letter, apply for the visa and you can come to UK. So still there is a need of economic stability in UK. So it's up to you, think twice before coming. So once you come here, you need to prepare for all the situations, all the worst scenarios. So that's it from the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. So if you have any opinions about it, please comment and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.